Hello, I am Nimja, and this is Confusion Fractionation. This file will go up and down, as you might expect. However, not everything will make as much sense initially. Your unconscious, on the other hand, is able to figure it out one way or the other, either by knowing that you should go down or simply by giving up and shutting down. Either is fine with me. Now there are many ways to bring you down into trance, and many ways to bring you back up again. For the sake of argument, let's say that drop is a nice word to help you go into trance. It may be preceded by a countdown, like listen to my voice 10, as it helps you to go into trance 9, each number letting you drift 8, so relax. And nice seven. Hypnosis can be so easy. Six. Even if you've never done it before. Five. Just listening to this is already enough. Four. And you know that when I say drop again, you'll just go deeper. Three. It's so easy to drift deeper into trance. One, as you're beautifully hypnotized, drop. Now the other word that will be very relevant throughout, well, a lot of what I do is the word wake pulls you back into alertness. Depending on how deep you are, of course, this might be a little more difficult than otherwise. Now do remember, drop brings you down, pulls you into trance and allows you to let go. Your eyes can close naturally, your body can relax as it enjoys itself. Wake on the other hand, will wake you back up. All clear? Good. See, so far it's not very confusing at all. All you have to do is simply follow the instructions. Drop lets you go deep in trance, sometimes with a countdown like ten, nine, eight, seven. Or maybe not. Wake. There can of course be all kinds of confusion, like being woken down and dropped up into trance. But those are too easy. I know there's some other things that I'd like to do today. For that it does help if your mind can drop nice and deep. No, wait, wake. Let's do a countdown first, that'll help. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, drop. Yes, that's much better. Wake, see? Don't you agree that that was better? If I just make you drop without the countdown, it's not nearly as nice. Wake, isn't it? It's much nicer if I first count 10, build some anticipation, 9, let you want to go into trance, 8, relaxing so much more, 7, as you have to wait to go into trance, 6, not yet, stay awake, 5, even though you're whole body wants to go down again. Four, do your best to stay awake. Three, wait for the whole countdown.
down to finish. Two, no matter how. shouldn't have been in trance yet. I guess I should do that again. Drop nice and deep, blank, empty, just drifting deeper and deeper. See, now you're in a much better state to awake again. This makes way more sense. Although sense isn't a primary goal. Not that nonsense is a goal either. It's more the idea for you to sense something. You might go up, you might go down, you might feel your thoughts drift all around, twisting like a spiral, falling and fluttering down, slowly draining away, like the spiral in water as it drains down into nothingness. Can you imagine how each of your thoughts would just go around and around, slowly getting closer and closer to the center until they fall down, all the way down the drain. Your brain blissfully blank with a drop, a final stop of those thoughts. But when the trance is at stake, awake can pull you back and what you might notice is that the longer I continue the more frustrating the wake becomes. The drop is so much nicer isn't it? A drop into trance, a drop of your thoughts, letting go of all those somethings, anythings, everythings, thinking things that flutter away and stay somewhere else while you sway back and forth deeper and deeper. You might find yourself almost rocking to sleep, stopping to think and thinking to stop, drifting deeper to drop and falling further to flop, relax as your body just lets go more and more, heavier, deeper, drifting, swirling in a pool of nothing, an emptiness that fades into existence, filling everything in your mind with its absence of thought. A drop of sound, falling, fluttering feelings, so deep that every part of your body and mind just disconnects and drops, stops, wake, wanting to stay deep of course you might struggle a little bit with the ups and downs. And again, there will be more down than up, where down is so much more delicious. Down deep, where your mind is asleep and your body drifts, relax, floats, flutters, and finally drops. See, that word is so nice, it's almost like all the strings are cut and you can simply relax. You might even notice the physical relaxation getting stronger and more deep and profound with every up and down. Even after you wake you'll still struggle to move as your body just wants to stay relaxed and your mind would rather just find the absence of thoughts present in the presentation of 
of your brain. That strange experience of watching yourself falling, floating, slowly dropping deep into a trance where a simple countdown is enough to just help you when you feel like it's a safe place and a safe person to listen to. If you feel okay right now, I'm going to count down and every count, your body will feel a wave of relaxation and your mind, well, I'm sure I don't even have to tell you how good that'll feel. Ten. Let yourself feel how it affects you. Nine. Enjoying the slow countdown this time, as every number is another experience. Eight. Being Pulled down deep. Seven and relaxing even more. Six as every part of your body and mind just lets go. Five. It would be so nice to let go completely. Or as the swirling sensation pulls you deep. Three directions of freedom to pull away. Two petals frail. Just get down deeper with the next drop, 
which hits you with the strength of nothing, the wonderful blankness of drifting a drop so deep. to wake and drop some more. 